Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In this, this video I'd like to talk to you about which web browsers you can use on Elementor OS and on Linux in general. So for those who don't know, Elementor OS is, uh, is packed in with uh, Epiphany web browser, which you can try out here. It's the default browser, it's the one that's furnished by default, so it might not look like that because uh, this is the one I've upgraded. So the version you'll get is, uh, I think, 3.16, uh, which is an older GNOME version. And, uh, well, even though it runs nicely, you cannot sync with Firefox account. Uh, there's a few stuff that doesn't work, and plus it's not the most up-to-date uh, WebKit engine. Because Epiphany runs on the WebKit, uh, well, libwebkit GDK, which is the GDK implementation of a WebKit uh, engine. And the WebKit engine is the one that powers Safari uh, on iOS and Mac OS X. Uh, so it's a pretty neat uh, engine. It's also the one uh, on which uh, Chrome is based, uh, which they forked, actually. They forked uh, WebKit to create a Blink, which is their own engine. But what if you don't like uh, Epiphany, which is also called GNOME Web in most uh, Linux distributions these days? Well, first of all, uh, try to see if you can upgrade it, because what I did is go to Epiphany web browser and uh, I just clicked download on the website here and it downloaded uh, something which is called a flatpak ref, which is actually a flatpak file, which I installed with the command here, which is flatpak install and go to your file, which is for me in downloads and it's org.gnome, etc epiphany.flatpakref and I just installed that. If you don't have Flatpak installed, you can install it from the repositories and then it will install. Flatpak is basically a new method of uh, installing apps which bundles the app and all its libraries and that, uh, that is kept most of the time automatically up to date uh, which allows you to run newer versions of software on older systems like elementary OS 0.4 which is still based on Ubuntu 16.04 which is a two-year-old uh, distribution. So a few things like libraries and kernels have evolved, but you can still run uh, newer apps without messing up all your system's libraries with the Flatpak system or the equivalent uh, de developed by Ubuntu, which is the Snap apps. So I installed uh, the latest version of uh, GNOME Web or Epiphany. It has a few neat features such as, well, crashing when I click the preferences. Apparently that's a nice feature. Uh, if I go to preferences, nope, I cannot. Well, I'll show you that when it works. And uh, well, it has the, basically the Firefox sync. So you can create a Firefox account and sync all your, so all your open tabs, your passwords, your preferences, your bookmarks with Firefox. So you can have Firefox on your Android phone, for example, and sync everything from there to your uh, Epiphany web browser on, uh, on Linux, which is a neat feature. Of course, I just installed that. So, well, as you can see, there are a few bugs like this, which I did not encounter just a minute ago, but apparently now it's there. So if you don't want to run Epiphany because you don't like the performance or you prefer something else, there are a few other browser choices uh, on Linux. Uh, first of all is Chrome, uh, Google Chrome, of course. You can download it on uh, Elementary OS. You just go to their website, you click download, you select the Deb version, because on uh, Epiphany, on uh, Elementary OS, you will use uh, Deb packages, accept and install. It will download the file, and then you just click on it to open it. Uh, it will launch, uh, well you can show it here, and you can launch it with Eddy, which is uh, not installed by default. If you want to install Eddy, which is a simple dev package installer, you can launch the App Center, search for Eddy. It's really quick to install and does the job really well. And you can just install Chrome and it will work as you know it on Windows or Mac OS on, or on other Linux distributions, which is you can sync everything, it's gonna gobble up most of your RAM, but it's gonna be pretty fast. Uh, that's for Chrome. Uh, if you'd rather have a uh, open source uh, version of Chrome, uh, you can type Chromium in your App Center. And the Chromium web browser is basically the exact same thing as the Chrome web browser without uh, closed source uh, plugins. So for example, it won't ship with Flash, but I don't think you really need Flash these days. If you really depend on it, well, you should probably try and download the original Google Chrome and not the Chromium version, which is the exact same thing once again, except the icon is blue and it's open source all the way. If Chrome is not your favorite browser, you can of course install Firefox from the repositories. Uh, it's pretty well maintained, it's at the latest version all the time, that's what I use mostly uh, here. It's my default browser actually on this system. And uh, well, it works nicely, it's always up to date. It's uh, really fast since the Quantum project. It has all the features you would expect from uh, Firefox on uh, macOS or, uh, or Windows. 
such as your favorites, uh, your bookmarks, etc. You can sync your Firefox account on it. Everything works nicely. So, well, that's a great browser. That's actually the one I use most of the time. If you use weirder browsers, you can also try Opera. Uh, I've heard good things about this one. It's also free for Linux. You can download that. It's gonna download a .deb file, I believe, once it's started. Uh, did it start? It did not. Uh, okay, so let me try again. Yeah, there you go. It's a .deb file, so same procedure as with, uh, as with Chrome. You just download Eddy if you don't have it, and you click on it and it's just gonna install it and uh, well it won't be kept up to date because it's a dev package it doesn't have an auto uh, auto update feature but it's gonna work nicely i haven't tried that one personally because i'm not a big opera fan but uh, i hear good things and i think they're based now on the same engine as chrome which is blink which is pretty fast and you can of course sync it with opera on your mobile if you're uh, that kind of guy and if you'd like something a little more modern, uh, you can try Vivaldi, which is uh, based, uh, which is developed by the older Opera team. Uh, they started up their own browsers, which has almost the same features. You can link your social accounts, download managers, of course, bookmarks, history, etc. Uh, it's a tab browser. It's a modern browser. It works really well. Uh, there's no weird problems about this one. Uh, it is a nice way to present history with a calendar, uh, which is pretty cool. And you have a notes feature for those who like uh, their uh, development environment to live in their browser. It's pretty nice to take notes on the site you're currently debugging. So it's pretty cool. You can customize it a lot. Uh, you can stack tabs, uh, tile tabs, etc. There's a few neat features on this one. I haven't tried it for myself, but I hear good things about this one as well. Uh, me, I'm personally more of a Firefox guy. Um, I'm pretty much too much rooted in my habits to change. Uh, of course, if you're a KDE guy, which can happen even though you're using elementary OS, uh, you might want to try something like Conqueror or Capzilla. Uh, I think Capzilla is more up to date. Uh, it's a nice browser pretty fast, uh, based on WebKit as well, Qt WebKit, so the Qt implementation of uh, WebKit. And it, well, it works great, but it's not gonna look very native or good on elementary since, well, it's a KDE application, so it's gonna run, but it's gonna install a, a few libraries that you will not need for most or any other programs on elementary OS, unless you're using some KDE software such as Kden Live, in which case you might already have all the libraries needed. Uh, so. There you go, you can pretty much run anything in terms of browser these days on Linux. You have the Chrome, the Firefox, uh, you have Opera, Vivaldi, uh, Epiphany, which is the default one, also called Gnome Web, which has a few quirks, uh, but uh, which is pretty nice actually. It's, it's really well integrated into elementary OS. Uh, well, it's basically your choice. You can do whatever you want uh, on Linux in terms of browser. Uh, you will not be restricted to anything special. So here we go, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, and uh, well, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.